I'm Jeff with One Byte Technology. Uh, today I'm going to do a quick auxiliary video about receiving because I've received my first uh, shipment from Mobile Centrix since setting up the integration with Repair Desk. Uh, so I figure we may as well go through that together and we'll see how it works. Uh, so, under inventory, I made my purchase order. So you can make a purchase order and you choose um, Mobile Centrix. And when you do so, when you add an item to this purchase order, you can see here available stock on Mobile Centrix. So it, it immediately tells you if they have the available inventory and it updates the, the price. I'm pretty sure it pulls the price from them in real time because I verified against my invoice and it was all the same. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. So that saves several steps when uh, you're ordering from these suppliers. So, uh, Mobile Centrix and Injured Gadgets both have this same integration. So that's really handy. Um, so I input my tracking number into the PO. And so I'm going to copy that tracking number. And what you can do now, you, you can go to the actions um, after saving this and create a goods receive note. Uh, depending on the you know busyness of your store or maybe you have a separate shipper receiver uh, this box is going to show up in your receiving bay and they're going to look at the tracking number on it not necessarily have a PO number on it and all they have to do in that case I'm going to I'm going to hit the button for new GRN and into the PO reference number here I only have one PO open right now so it auto populates but if they paste the tracking number in it pulls up the right PO. So that's that's pretty handy if they're missing the PO number. So when I select that PO, it fills in my goods that I have here. Under the received quantity field, it automatically fills the ordered quantity. Uh, I'm not so sure I'm a fan of that. It, I think it would be better if it if it put in zeros. Uh, or maybe there may be an option where you could have the option where it would put in zeros until you scan the item because um, if something's missing, you're not going to catch it unless it's more than one missing. So what, what we do now when we're scanning the inventory in... Uh, I've, I've got, got some, some iPhone, iPhone 8, 8 screens, screens here. here. Click, Click into my field here to start, start scanning. scanning. Okay. okay. So, so I've got, got two of those. those. And, and you can, can see here uh, uh, iPhone, iPhone 8 screen, screen white. white. I scanned, I scanned it, it once, once, so the received, received quantity, quantity is, is one, one and, and if, if I do, I do it again, again then, then it bumps it up to two. two. So, so it takes it, it um, when, when you do start scanning, it, it scans in the right quantity, quantity but, but I just worry about what's going to happen if I ordered one, one but they, they ship zero. zero. Is it going to catch that or not? Maybe I can experiment with that. Okay, so I'm going to scan everything else that goes out here. And here's something. Let's, Let's test, test what, what happens, happens when we scan, scan something, something that's not, not on the PO. PO. I'm scanning a ticket label. label. Okay, okay, I don't know if I'm not very good. Uh, it, it would also be nice to get an, an audio, audio cue if you scan, scan something uh, that's, that's not, not on the PO. PO. Because then, then the, the receiver, receiver will notice right away that it makes it aside. Without an audio cue, if they're, you know, they're you know, standing over the table, six feet away from the computer or further, um, you're not going to notice that. that. Okay, so the shipment is in. Um, let's see, receive one, one, two, one, 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 one. So everything looks good from there. I hit save. And now, so th this is a big change from Repair Shopper. When receiving in Repair Shopper, I only had the opportunity to print labels for what I've just received. And it, and it gives me all the labels. You can't pick and choose. You can't change the quantity. Um, and for a lot of these items, like the mobile centric stuff, I never did print labels. So if I was... Um, receiving, well, similar to this. I put labels on my MacBook batteries, but I don't put labels on my phone screens. But And I couldn't 
pick or choose. So I, every time I received something that I did want to label, I had to manually open up the item afterwards and print that label. Here in Repair Desk, as you can see, I can select specifically what I want to print my labels for. So now I'm just going to skip all my phone batteries. I'm going to print one for my MacBook batteries. And I don't need any for my CD. 15s. Okay, so just printing labels for my MacBook batteries. Print barcodes, and I've mentioned this before, but Repair Desk also has integrated printing for Mac OS, which Repair Shopper couldn't do for me. So now I have my labels that spit out automatically just by clicking that print button once, which, which is a beautiful thing. Uh, it's much more convenient than beforehand. So there we go. That's, that's Okay, I've got a quick side-by-side um, -side comparison of both Repair Desk on the left and Repair Shopper on the right. And we're going to build a PO and receive some product from this. So you can see the difference between the two of them. In Repair Shopper, there's the Purchase Orders button at the top here. Repair Desk, it's under the little Inventory drop-down and Purchase Orders. And you can click either into the list of Purchase Orders or you can hit this little plus sign to go directly into a new PO. Repair Shopper, click New Purchase Order. All right, so I'm going to pick my vendor, let's say Mobile Centrix. Supplier in Repair Desk, Mobile Centrix. Okay, so now I have to click the Create Purchase Order button in Repair Shopper, and I'm into my PO. Um, I do like the the interface of the Repair Desk PO. Um, it's just a little bit cleaner, and, and the area where you start scanning products is is right at the top here. Whereas in Repair Shopper, um, there's quite a bit of stuff. Um, the biggest biggest thing that I liked about Repair Shopper being in Canada is that it lets me put my shipping price, my, my freight and duty in exchange. I can put that amount here and it spreads it amongst my items, which I really appreciated. Uh, Repair Desk doesn't do that, but I hope they implement that in the next version. So um, here's, here's something that I like about Repair Desk. In Repair Shopper, um, I'm, I'm very picky about my nomenclature, how my, my products are written out in the system so that I can always find them. So, uh, let's say we're doing batteries for iPhone 6. So I have all my batteries set as battery, hyphen, and then the product name. So iPhone 6. Okay, so here you can see my battery, iPhone 6, replacement battery for iPhone 6. And I select it. Same in Repair Desk now, so I have battery, iPhone 6, there it is, I'm out of stock, on the standard one. And so you can see with the Mobile Centrix integration, it shows me right here, available stock on Mobile Centrix, 100. So then I can update my, my quantity that I'm ordering, we'll say 1. And here in Repair Shopper, I can now click 1, Add Item. So now it adds it down here. Uh, there's no integration with Mobile Centrix in Repair Shopper, so I need to update my cost. All right, so um, what I wanted to bring up is with searching product names. And this, this seems to be the case across the board in Repair Desk and Repair Shopper. In Repair Shopper, if I write iPhone 6 battery... Uh, it doesn't always find it. It it seems you need to um, absolutely know the exact naming for your product, batteries, right? Or it won't find it. Um, I'm trying to think of an example right now. In Repair Desk, I can put iPhone 6 battery. And what you'll notice here is the highlighted in red lettering is what I've typed into my search query. And so it's searching, the way, the way it searches its database, um, it lets you search in different order. 
right here I can write plus at the end and it'll find me battery iPhone 6 amp centrix plus uh, no matter what order I write that in plus battery iPhone 6 and there it is it still comes to the top of the list so the way that the the database uses the search is superior in repair desk uh, so I appreciate that search for that again battery iPhone 6 just do that one so add row oh okay quantity of one add row so you have to click add row in repair desk to to get it to stick then you can add your next item so I'm just gonna order one of these um, you can put in a tracking number if you know it but that's generally after the fact so in, in Repair Desk, you've got a purchase order and you've got a goods receiving note. They're separate documents. Uh, in Repair Shopper, the PO from open to ordered to check in and finished is all one document, all accessed from the same spot. So that's just, uh, it's a different workflow, but something to note. Okay. Uh, so now that I'm done my PO, I would set it to ordered. I now have to go over to Mobile Centric's website, you know, find that product, add it to my cart, check out, and then I would add my shipping cost to the item. And notice it, it adds that cost to whatever items you've added. I've, I only have one item here, so it's added it to the one item. Um, but otherwise, it spreads that equally amongst the quantity of items on my PO. So then it's time to check in. So in Repair Shopper, Oh, just gonna lead. Thank you. Uh, in Repair Shopper, the check-in process is like this. Um, all all I can do here is either receive line items one by one by clicking the receive button, or receive all items into inventory. So I'm gonna hit receive, and now it's in inventory. And my option for printing labels here, as as I mentioned before, is received item labels. So this is where it would give me, if I had 100 items here, it would, it would show me all those 100 labels and I can't, I can't pick and choose which ones to print. So that's one part I really did not like about Repair Shopper. But then this is finished. This PO is finished and it will show up in my completed POs. In Repair Desk now, I'm going to hit Save. And now I have this button here to check out with Mobile Centrix. So if I click that, Gives me a little confirmation of my list here. So you check out with Mobile Centrix. And it has brought me to my Mobile Centrix account with that product in my cart. And I just hit proceed to check out and boom, um, pay for it and it's done. So that's the, the Mobile Centrix integration, which uh, works really great. Then once the products show up in Repair Desk, the process is a bit different. We go to our POs. You can see my PO here and I can create a GRN, a goods receiving note. So you create that to receive the inventory and check it off as, as I showed you in the first half of the video. So I'm not gonna continue with that because I'm not actually ordering this battery. So I hope that makes sense. Um, that's the difference between these two side by side for receiving. Uh, the repair desk receiving process is much more in tune with a um, higher end operation if you're receiving lots where it, let, it gives you the ability to scan your products as you're receiving them in a you know a high volume warehouse rather than going through and clicking on each of these lines individually uh, however my my gripe here and i've confirmed with um, repair desk is when you're receiving it automatically puts the receive quantity at one so it is possible if they short shipped you a single item it's possible to miss that so i'm gonna hassle repair desk to change that so that the default is at zero so you can scan in and you'll know if something was missed so there we go that's that's receiving shipment and printing specific labels in repair desk uh, once again jeff with one byte technology i'm in st albert alberta canada thanks for watching